Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Node.js tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to write a simple web application in Node.js. So, before we get started, just make sure that you have Node.js installed on your computer. Um, if not, then head over to nodejs.org slash download and download one for your platform right now. Um, having once you've downloaded Node.js, um, go back to this video and then continue from this point. Now, I'm going to assume that you, you all guys have it installed and, you know, working fine. So, um, I'm going to start from that point. So, fire up your command window right now. Um, and what you want to do is you want to navigate to the folder where you want the project to be. So, uh, in my case, I'm going to navigate to document slash projects folder where I usually keep all of my projects. So, I'll cd to documents. Oops. That in type projects um, and here I'll create a project called uh, hello world uh, so mockter uh, maybe not hello world just to say hello node um, and having created this project uh, I'll cd into it uh, and now before we jump into writing our first node application let's take a very easy route which is not just easy you'll also teach you guys a lot about how node works and all of its internal structure and stuff and we really use you on picking stuff up all about node.js so um, first thing that you want to do is you want to install a tool called express generator now what express generator is um, it's a tool that creates a directory slash folder slash file structure for you um, it's like a wizard but it's a command line wizard and it doesn't ask you any question it just does it unquestionably which is quite awesome in my opinion um, so you can use the express generator tool to in a, uh, to uh, help you get started with a node project uh, so what I would suggest is installing it to install it head over to npm type install um, express a generator uh, and you want to use a minus G option because um, minus G option means that your express generated module will be installed globally. Um, and let me just quickly explain what this command does. The NPM is your node package manager. It's, it's like apt-get on Ubuntu or yum on Fedora or CentOS-esque operating systems. Um, and what it essentially does it, it is it helps you manage the node Node.js dependencies and Node.js file uh, libraries and all of that stuff. Um, and it's essentially a package manager um, and dependency resolver at heart. Uh, and we're saying that npm install this module, so npm install this module, uh, and install it globally, please. Um, and you press enter. Uh, now I've already installed it, so I'm going to cancel that immediately because I just realized that when I press enter. Um, but I would recommend you guys to just um, type the command and press enter and let it finish. Um, what it will do is you'll install Express Generator and it will add the Express uh, in your path so that you can use it wherever you want. Ideally with modules you shouldn't use minus G option because you want to install the modules within specific projects and not your system wide. Um, but the reason why we're using this and installing it globally is because we want the Express Generator to be available to us uh, wherever we are in the entire file system so um, yeah essentially that's it so once you've installed it um, type express to use it and that's it press enter uh, what it essentially does it is it creates the folders and files and sets everything to default um, and it gives you a starting point to work from um, and it's really good because rather than having an empty blank file and then creating your own structure and managing it all, it does it for you. So all you have to do is you have to change files, add um, files to specific points, um, alter some stuff, and your project will work fine. Um, I prefer it um, over normal stuff, So, um, but it's up to you really. I would highly suggest using this, um, especially when you're trying to learn Node, which is really, really helpful. Um, so yep, so we saw that it created some stuff for us. Um, so let's start. Uh, let's look at what it has done. So dir or ls, um, and that will show you all of the file structure and stuff. That's all okay, but your project is still not ready to 
be um, executed to be run um, because you haven't installed the modules yet. Um, now you may ask what are these modules? Well because this is a default app and because this is not a blank application it has a lot of dependencies and it has it is dependent on a lot of modules um, and you might think like oh well I, cr I use Express shouldn't Express have installed modules for me? Uh, well it would have but that means that when they created Express they would have to package all of those modules in and that will make it more heavyweight and you know crap essentially um, and then you might think like oh but then it should have executed npm install for me uh, that's also a good point but I don't know why they didn't do it because I didn't create npm because uh, I, I, I didn't create Express so uh, yeah aside from that let's start uh, let's install those modules right now so just type npm install that essentially installs all the modules. Uh, what npm install essentially does is it looks at your package.json file, looks at a specific property called dependencies, and it installs everything within that dependencies. Um, so hit npm install, press enter. It'll take a little bit to install and for it to f figure out what the dependencies are and stuff, but it'll do it. And it's done it. So let's just look at what it has installed. It's installed a cookie parser module, a debug module, uh, surf avicon module and all of the stuff underneath is what that module depends on um, so yeah it installed a module called morgan uh, body parser express uh, and yeah that's pretty cool jade module see it's pretty cool um, so if you do a dirt now you'll see a additional folder called node underscore modules this folder wasn't there earlier and just to prove that I'll scroll up quickly and show you guys that it wasn't there yeah see it's not there so yeah, so it's there now, uh, which is good, uh, and now you can run the application. To run the application, you type the command npm start. Now npm start, again, looks at the package.json, it looks at the specific run configuration, and it runs your project. Um, and, you pre and you press enter, and bam, it's running right now. Uh, it's run this command called node uh, bin www. Um, and it's waiting now. It's waiting for a request because it started a server of its own. Node.js doesn't need a server or a container like Tomcat or Apache. Uh, it, it it is its own server. Um, so in case you're wondering, um, it's it's it is its own master. It's really cool uh, because then you can control everything rather than having to depend on Tomcat or Apache for certain stuff. You can tune everything. Um, of that sort within Node, which is amazing. Um, so let's check out let's check out what this application does. Um, so it's waiting for requests, and you might ask, uh, what kind of request is it waiting for? How do I how, how do I send a, a, a request to it? Well, it's running on your machine, so it's running on localhost, and by default, I know for a fact that it runs on port 3000. Uh, if you want to verify that, you can look at this file. You can whoops, you can look at the bin www file. And that will tell you uh, where the ports are, uh, what the default port is set to. You can change that in that file as well. Um, if you do manage to change it, yay! Um, but if you don't, don't worry about it. We'll cover it later uh, at some point. Um, so, yeah, it's running on your machine, and, and the default port is 3000. So let's check out localhost 3000. Uh, go onto your browser and open a new tab, and uh, head over to localhost 3000, and press enter. Yay! Our application is running and the default message is express welcome to express so that's it guys we have the application up and running right now um, and this is it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll cover more about node.js so thank you very much cheers guys bye